Three years ago when the pandemic hit, my fiance and I craved something different. We craved freedom and self-sufficiency. We found the perfect property which happened to be 650 miles away and decided it was now or never. We took 10 steps on this land and I knew it was going to be our future. We immediately got to work and remodeled our home in preparation to sell, as well as sold a majority of our belongings and put a container on this property so that way we could store the rest of what we own. From the moment we moved, we were hit with obstacle after obstacle. Between issues with the county, harassment from our neighbors, and some major weather setbacks, there were nights that we questioned everything, but we knew that there was no going back. With this being undeveloped land, we had our work cut out for us. Our first major project was pouring the foundation for the storage building because it would be the perfect test run for doing the foundation for our house. Once that project was complete, we poured the piers and footings for our home, but had to hire a crane operator to move the house on the foundation. Other than that, I can proudly say that we've done 100% of the work completely by ourselves with a little bit of help from Cody's brother and a few friends. This journey has been absolutely wild. We've created so many memories, a whole lot of laughs, beautiful friendships, and we've even added a few more furry friends to our family. We are truly grateful for the love and support that we've received online. And none of this would be even possible without y'all. We've been living in our off-grid container home for a little over a year now, and while it is nowhere near being complete, every day is a step closer. So without further ado, this is our life for the past two years summed up into 10 minutes. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright.
Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. to today. We started working on a deck, we've made a few changes to the inside, but other than that, we really haven't done anything major. Because we were in such a rush to move in, we definitely made some shortcuts and we didn't invest in things that we wanted to because we were just trying to get the house livable. We figure if there was ever a time to make changes, it is now. So several months ago, Cody and I decided to take a halt to all inside projects and just save our money. But plans are finalized, materials are ordered and coming in, and we are finally ready to complete our home. I'm so excited for what the future has in store for us and I hope that you continue to join us on this journey. Thanks for being here and we'll see you in the next one. Baby don't you understand that we only get one life I wanna